first name G, last name where I came from When I'm back home, I'm more hoping with my day ones Keep losing homies, that shit makes me wanna stay young If you got a problem with me, you better say something What's up guys, it's OG Woodsman Here with my homeboy Brian uh, Going my outdoors on YouTube, hit it up So, out here this pond, we just drove by. He has permission to fish this pond, but we were headed to a watershed. Well, this pond has a large amount of monsters swimming around the banks. So, we finna go, uh, oh, give a shout out real fast. One of my cousins from Boston, Massachusetts, Carl Bing, sent me, somebody stole one of my tackle boxes, man, like two weeks ago. I left the tackle box down at the spillway. Drove off. I was sitting there talking to somebody. Drove off and left it. Turned around and went straight back. Somebody already got it. Had all my good bad stuff in it. Man, this dude hooked me up so good. Oh, this right here is sponsored by Carl Bing. You are the man, bro. I was like a little kid at Christmas when I opened this up. This is that headbanger spitfire. This is a top water. It's a hell of a bait if it works like it shows on the ads. <laughs> so... Hopefully, uh, we're gonna be very successful out here and have some good footage for you guys. What the? I didn't bring the straps. It's a mink. Yep. Damn. Or an otter, whatever it would be. A mink or an otter one. That's the same. Should have respooled this thing. Oh, dude, got off right at the bank. That didn't take too long. Oh, bro, I see a big one. I see a big one. I think that's a bass. So that headbanger ain't no joke. That thing putting a little hurting on him. Nice. Yeah, keep that one too. Bro, yeah, this one's nice. Now I'm winning. Damn, I'm gonna have to come back for the pliers for this one. Bro, yes. So glad we came here. Good call. This is like the perfect eating size bass too, man. These are perfect. Perfect. Two pounds. Perfect eating bass, man. We're gonna have to stop and get some ice. Let me, let me touch your butt. like they're still bedded up. Putting a hurting on them with this thing, man. You need to get one of these.
them Facebook ads got me. I said, one of them Facebook ads got me. I couldn't even resist. I was like, that thing looks fire. Uh, yeah, two pounders. I'm gonna go grab my pliers and just keep them in my pocket. There he is. Got one too. Mine's a dink. Like a dude. That is a large mouth. I thought that was like a little stripe hybrid or something. That dude is tiny, dude. They got some attitudes. That's for damn sure. But for real, this is like we're catching them fast and we're catching them big enough that they're actually fun. He'll eat. He ain't got shoulders. Well, we know we're going to be eating tonight while we're on the river. I'll bring some charcoal. Hey, we're going to have to run back by my house, okay? Let me grab some spices and shit. Eat some good food while we're out there catching fish. Boy, that headbanger Spitfire is really putting on a show for me today, guys. I like this thing. Where's them biggins at? Get a good five pounder. You got a nice one. Nope. Dude, that mink just came up right in front of me. Oh, yeah. Right in front of me. I hope it attacks this bait. That'd be a badass video. Nice one. About a three and a half pounder. Big bucket mouth too. About three. I like that one though. That's a pretty fish. I'll tell you what. Damn, that'd be a good fillet, though. It's just, it's a big fillet, though. It'd be a big, nice one. I'll go ahead and let him go back, though. Come on, man. Don't be like that. Let me at least give you a good release. Shit. All right, big mama. All right, big daddy. There he goes. Come, bro. Blackberry bush. And they got some ripe ones, too. Hell yeah. That's a fire. He hit it three times in a row. Y'all see that? He hit that sucker three times back to back. He wanted that thing. He wanted that thing. Man. 
These baits are awesome, dude. Putting a hurting on them. That's a good eater. About a pound, pound and a half. To go ahead on him, though. I'll let him go back. Well. Yeah, I'll let him go back. Nice one. Why was he fighting like that? The queen of the dinks. Dude, that dude was fighting so hard, but I got him foul hooked. I got him hooked behind the gill. That's what it is. <laughs> Man, he hit that sucker like a damn five pounder, dude. Like, dude, when they hit this thing, they hit it so aggressive, too. Like, it pisses them off. See that? See how aggressive they hit it? Doing backflips, damn near. That's a thoroughly decent one. Yeah, all right. Not bad. You hooked me on a f you up. Why have I not ever had pliers whenever I go fishing? Makes it so much easier, dude. Yeah, I'll take him. He's skinny. I'll take him home with me. There he is. Go ahead and jump. Jump something for me. Jump. Try, see if you can shake it. I'll let you try to shake it. Shake it, mate. Shake it, baby. Let me see you shake it, baby. He ain't spunky like him other ones. Oh, I had him hooked funny. That's why. A little too small to keep, probably, for this pond. It's fat, though. Thank you, ma'am. A little bit bigger than this one. Perfect eating. Yeah, not bad at all. Quite a bit bigger than that one, really. I might let that one go. I'll let that one go. It sucks all these big ones that has these big thick fillets. I'm throwing them back. <laughs> I'm actually like shopping right now. Like I need some food in my house. Like <laughs> I seen her leave the bank to come out and hit it. Dude, these bass over here got some heads on them. These dudes are nice. Don't hook me, dude. I ain't trying to catch a triple hook today. Oh, shit. Hey, this is nice. This is actually kind of nice. Look at that one, bro. And shoulders. For real, this dude's got a some good genetics. Let 
You mind taking a picture of me with this one? All right. I like it. That dude's fat. She's nice. Uh oh. Uh oh. That's a good one. Yeah, nice little yeah, one. Nice. Yeah. That's a good one. Pretty too. Real pretty. Big girl. That'd be the kind you want to start with in a tournament. Man, heck yeah. That's a, that's a fairly decent fish. When I make the YouTube video of this, yeah. I'm going to name it like Headbanger or head, yeah, Headbanger Spitfire Review. And I'll put like tons of bass caught and then I'm going to post it in the comments on all the ads I see for this because people want to see that shit you know and ain't nobody gonna be looking at that ad that don't you know that ain't interested in it anyway probably close no <laughs> I said probably close I don't say a lot of smart shit these days Oh man, that was so pretty, man. And I'm I'm up here, so I got like a good view of that. I'm pretty sure I got that. I just now thought, I hope my damn bill of my hat ain't in this video. It looks like it's angled pretty straight. Cool. <laughs> you ain't a big one, but you's a pretty one. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, like, basically I'm the same. Yeah, they're fucking hungry. Little dinkster, some bitch. <laughs> <sighs> Wasted my last cast on your ass. <laughs> yeah, still hungry though. That's always a good thing. Thing I love about a treble hook is it sure does hook them. Thing I hate about a treble hook is it sure does hook them. <laughs> Today we tested out the Headbanger Spitfire and it tore the bass up. I strongly recommend getting you one of these for for your topwater tackle box. Anyway, till next time, y'all stay in the woods, guys. And first name G, last name where I came from. When I'm back home, I'm more open with my day ones. Keep losing homies, that shit makes you wanna stay young. If you got a problem with me, you better say something. It's instrumental combustion, ambition and nothing. I seen two women in public and they were kissing and touching. I found myself in the middle of something. It turned into a function. It was different, I loved it and I Wait, wait, was it all just a dream or is my lifestyle really just as crazy as it seems? Did Wazley get stabbed when it started with some drinks? Did we really go and find him leaving bleeding in the streets? Let's ask God for forgiveness, still with it with the team. Do I really stay strapped? Is it really him or me? Do I really got the scars that can prove that I've been through it? Is it really in my pocket? Am I really gonna shoot it? Shit, I need to save me for myself.